Welcome back traders. Today we are talking about AI mode and the re-entry signals and how to enable them. Let's first make sure that we have everything enabled and let's go into our settings, make sure everything's good. First, we wanna make sure that we have the buy and sell signals enabled. That way, of course, we have the buy uh, label and the exit label uh, in play. Or again, if you're the type of trader or you see the market is now in a bearish state, you of course can select or toggle to the sell signals, which will then, of course, give you the sell labels and the exit labels. For this example, let's just keep it on buy labels um, and buy direction. That way it is really clear what we're looking at. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to enable AI mode. Now double check here in the top left corner and on your screen that you have either regular candles or Heiken and Ashi candles um, on your chart. For this example right now, we are using regular candles as those candles of course give us um, exact prices rather than average prices like Heiken and Ashi candles do. So let's go to regular candles to enable AI mode. And what happens in this moment when we enable AI mode is that AI mode will now calculate the best sensitivity to give us the strongest signals. Or in other words, it'll choose and overwrite this sensitivity that we have in here to then have the strongest or again, strongest can also mean that, that it's holding us in the trade as long as it possibly can to give us the maximum amount of uh, potential gains uh, in a single signal. So this means that whatever I put right here, whether it's 1.0 or 2.2 like I had before, it's not going to matter because AI mode is going to overwrite whatever sensitivity I have in place. It's already going to do a calculation really quick and make sure that the sensitivity uh, agrees with what AI mode is all about and that is for maximum amount of potential gains. So again, AI mode is for those of you that like to take a trade and stay in it as long as possible. Um, and for those of you that are wanting, you know, quick little trades, AI mode you can still use. I always recommend and we always recommend to test this before, of course, going live in any way or applying it to any of your strategies, right? To make sure it is it agrees with how you trade and what you're comfortable with. So for this example, again, we're on the Bitcoin just one day chart uh, and we have the buy, di buy direction enabled and we have it have AI mode enabled on our regular candles. Once we enable that, let's just go out and see what it all looks like. We can now see as we zoom in, make it a little bit clearer that we have a buy signal that was triggered. We have our smart take profit that was hit. And we of course have an exit that continued up, right? So in both of these examples right next to each other, we can see that the market continued and the algorithm held us in this trade even after we had the, the smart take profit that was triggered. This means that you just need to test it for yourself, but if you were to get in on a signal like this and even hold until the end of the, when you get the exit signal, that might be where you're getting the maximum amount of potential gains. But the smart take profit that is enabled when we have AI mode um, on allows us to be able to have a recommendation of where we should just take our profit or maybe lock in profit, which of course maximizes our potential of profitability. Now, that being said, this is AI mode and it is extremely powerful as you can see just here. Um, and we, of course, it can be applied, of course, when we have the direction enabled for sell. So please do practice that there. But now let's jump into re-entry signals and how to enable them. Go in the top left corner, click on our settings panel here, and let's go down here to enable re-entry mode, which of course also requires AI mode. So make sure you have AI mode enabled and then click on enable re-entry and click OK. And let's see what that looks like. We can see that after our take profit uh, label was triggered and our take profit was hit, we can now see that the calculation still and the algorithm still agreed with itself and that a potential entry um, was available and that is where we are getting these new buy re-entry uh, labels here right after our take profit. 
Now, we won't get a buy reentry if it doesn't agree with its past calculations, right? So that means that um, we should see uh, a continuation. It's basically just another confirming signal, right, that we're having a continuation in that direction, or we should have a continuation in that direction. Now, again, practice using these new features and new indicators themselves. These signals, of course, are there to help you understand the movements in the market and to be able to show you where potential take profits or exits or entries are in the market. So please do practice and we'll be also releasing strategies later on using these indicators themselves and these signals all together. So tune in, practice, bring strategies yourself to Discord and let's grow.